The murder conviction of dance hall music icon Vibes Cartel has been overturned by Jamaica's highest court of appeals. Now, the decision came down after spending more than a decade behind bars proclaiming his innocence. All right, Lisa Everest has been reporting and breaking news in this case for years and takes a look at what comes next in this week's episode of Street Soldiers. There was so much intense interest in the UK Privy Council decision that the heavy volume of online viewers from around the world shut down the courtroom's live stream from London several times. But they got it up and running just in time for the world to hear that the 2014 murder conviction against dance hall music star Vibes Cartel and his three co-defendants was overturned. But it did not mean their legal troubles were over. The Judicial Committee of the Privy Council has unanimously concluded that the appeals should be allowed and the appellant's convictions should be quashed on the ground of juror misconduct. International dancehall music star Vibes Cartel, real name Medija Palmer, and his three co-defendants have been behind bars in Jamaican prisons since their arrest in 2011 for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams, whose body was never found. They were convicted in 2014 after the longest trial in Jamaican history. In the trial's final days, one of the jurors was suspected of offering bribes to the the other jurors. Instead of dismissing the case, the judge allowed it to continue, but the Privy Council found that was wrong. For cartel's attorney, Isop Buchanan, it was a huge win. A statement was made by the question of his conviction, and that is where we are. That yesterday, Mr. Palmer was a convicted felon. Today, he is an innocent man. In a statement sent exclusively to my Instagram, Vibes Cartel says in part, I am now back to being an innocent man in the eyes of the law. A grave injustice was done to me and my co-accused in the original trial. Instead of ordering his release outright, the Privy Council referred that back to the Jamaican Court of Appeals. They have two options. One, they call for a new trial, which means we will start this process all over again from the beginning with a new jury, perhaps new attorneys for the defendants, perhaps a whole new set of facts and scenarios even. Or they will release um, Vibes Cartel and the co-defendants. The level of interest in the case has been off the charts, says Yasmin Peru, a reporter with the Jamaica Gleaner. This is not something that was confined to the entertainment section of the news. This was breaking news on every level. And Cartel's popularity, his global influence would necessarily dictate that these, these are the kinds of steps that we take. Bobby Conders is a Hot 97 DJ and host of the Fire Sunday's reggae and dancehall music show. He's also produced records with Vibes Cartel. He's bigger than an artist. He's an iconic figure. We know the music, but now he's uh, been embraced by so many people globally. So not only you have Jamaica, you have the world, and that's hence the world boss and the love the people have for him. We'll have much more for you on this fascinating case on the next episode of Street Soldiers. I hope you'll join us Friday night right after the 10 o'clock news. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.